The housing market has been a big topic in 2023 and has continued into 2024 as home prices in Merlin continue to increase and home affordability is at an all-time low. But don't worry though, I've got some good news for you. Interest rates are a little lower than they were in 2023 and they have been predicted to stay pretty stable going into 2024. And if we haven't met Welcome to my channel. I'm Tanika. I'm associate broker with Keller Williams Realty Center, and I sell homes here in Merlin. Consider subscribing to my channel for home tours, market updates, and everything that you need to know about moving to or living in Merlin. Today, let me share with you the housing market update for the beginning of 2024. So whether you're a homeowner, a potential buyer, or just someone curious about the market here in Merlin, stick around because the numbers that I will provide here will give you some good insight about how the market is doing in Merlin. Now let's review the average stats for Merlin in 2023 compared to 2022. Units or homes sold are down by 10.7%. The average price is up by 7.5%, medium home prices by 7.5%, and units are down. The month worth of inventory is about the same it was in 2022 at 1.4 months worth of inventory. Now let's explore four counties that I primarily work. We got Anne Arundel County, Howard County, Montgomery County, and Prince George's County. Let's take a look at Anne Arundel County. So Anne Arundel County has a list to sold price ratio of 100%, which means that sellers are getting on average about their asking price. The medium days on market is 25 with a medium home price of 472,000. Months worth of inventory in Anne Arundel County is 0.88%, and that's less 13.7% less than it was last month and 32% less than it was the same time last year. Let's take a look at Howard County. Howard County current list to price ratio is 101%, which means that sellers are getting about 1% average over the asking price. The medium days on market is just 10 and the medium home price there in Howard County is 517,000. Months worth of inventory is 0.68%, which is very low, is 3% less than it was the last month and 40% less than it was the same time last year. Let's look at Montgomery County. Current list price to ratio is about 100% in Montgomery County, which means that the sellers are getting about their asking price there as well. The medium days on market is 24 and the medium home price is 530,000. Months worth of inventory is just 0.83%, which is 1% less than it was last month and 33% lower than it was the same time last year. Lastly, let's take a look at Prince George's County. Prince George's County has a list to sold price ratio of 100%, which means that sellers here are also getting about average of their asking price. The medium days on market is 28 and the medium home sold price is 424,000. Months worth of inventory is one, per, one month, which is 6.8% less than it was last month and 39% less than it was the same time last year. Overall, we're seeing a, still a strong seller's market here in Maryland with low inventory, but the interest rates have come down slightly since last year. As we head into the spring of 2024, we should see housing become a little bit more competitive because of the interest rates are a little bit lower and we still have low inventory. How do you feel about this housing market right now? Let me know in the comments. If you're interested in buying or selling a home here in Maryland, I would like to invite you to schedule a time to chat with me so that I can see how I can assist you. See the link in the description below to schedule a time to chat with me. Until my next video, take care and thank you so much for watching.